to Sweetbriar Cottage. Today I'll just take a little stroll through my uh, backyard garden and tell you a little bit about it as much as I can. When we first moved here, this property was all grass. We put in this patio, quite large patio, probably 11 years ago, and then about seven years ago, I had this greenhouse built. I had collected a lot of old windows, including the, the um, stained glass window up there and the two lead glass windows. All of those windows were uh, sitting around for a project like this. And so after selling a lot of my antiques and things at some uh, vintage fairs and such, I decided to use that money for something like that. And that's what I did. Then the next year, I did the same thing with that type of money after a couple shows of sales and put in the water feature. We had talked about putting in a um, waterfall or some sort of thing like this <laughs> for years. We've been here 18 years. I don't know if I already said that. Um, but finally realized it in 2017 and we have not regretted. You know, I know everyone remembers 2020 and that was a year that was, well, we were very glad we had this then. In the summertime, you can enjoy spring, summer, fall, winter, of course. In this area, everything dies back, all the perennials and everything. Um, and we can't grow annuals except uh, from the beginning of the, in the summer. I mean, they don't last annual, annuals. So, anyway, and, and then in, uh, before that, in 2018, uh, Experienced cancer, so we had the uh, had surgery and chemo that summer, spring and summer, and so I was able to uh, be out here. And even though it was rough time, I could uh, just you know sit out here and feel the peace of the sound of the water and. Um, The beauty of the flowers of course at that time when we had just gotten started on the landscaping and everything it wasn't as um 
uh, vibrant and <laughs> lush as it is now. It was still wonderful to have though. And I must say that the next, let's see, that was 2018 and then in, we had 2020 of course and then in 2021 I tripped and fell and broke my upper arm, the humerus bone, and it broke in half and splintered as well, so I had a surgery. That was the summer. Uh, it happened at the end of May, so that summer I spent out here recuperating with that as well. Uh, so enough of all of that talk. We'll just stroll around here a little bit and we'll walk carefully. <laughs> and uh, you can look at the this area right here. It's this is like the forest area. I said we have lots of I think I said maybe I didn't. But we have lots of big evergreen trees. But the, the smallest trees we've planted. And then again, uh, I guess it's, well, I think it's, I might have said, or maybe not, but the uh, evergreen trees were here and the weeping um, willow. And that was it. Um, when the pond, when we put the pond in, um, we also put these, uh, two of these uh, ponderosa pines, the, uh, the hosta there, and all the, well, all this landscaping we put in. What you see, the trees, the bushes, the flowers, the Japanese maple. And uh, this is kind of like the little secret garden part, foresty part in the garden. And we'll look down there. You'll see antique type of things. Decor of the garden. <laughs> Lots of bird houses and some statues. Shadow in here. Mm Can I say I have accumulated various things over the years to add to the garden. So I have fun finding things, statues and old fountains and things like this wheelbarrow. Um, I like rusty things oh, right there. <laughs> Let's see, what else? Uh, let's see. I am not a professional, as you can see, but I just love flowers, so that's why they're here, and many, 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 many people <laughs> have better gardens than this, as do some people have no garden at all, so there's that. You might see some weeds. <laughs> I can't edit those out. I, I don't do any editing, but the, uh, like that anyway. But, you know, I don't edit the words that I repeat all the time, like anyway or um. 
Uh, right here is the old, uh, it's just a stained glass door type of thing and it was uh, free. So I put that behind the rose there. I love roses, but I am not an expert rose grower. So they just basically do what they want. We cut them. The sun helps a lot in trimming uh, back bushes and so does my daughter. And um, But he comes over, my son comes over two or three times a week and helps us in the garden, which is such a blessing. And my husband is the one that puts in the uh, the bark. It, uh, he did that this year. Refreshes it sometimes, uh, maybe yearly, I don't know, every other year, what, whatever we need at the time. Uh, here's another, these are some other uh, the artifacts that I've uh, found over the years, like this bicycle, and we just found the basket at a yard sale recently. So I put those flowers in there and tried my best to keep the, the dirt in <laughs> with some uh, bark and also that coconut uh, stuff. These we just found as well recently. And there's that one and another one that's green. My husband built the planter boxes, uh, same wood as the greenhouse, the shiplap. I've had this uh, wagon for a while. Some more of the roses. There's a white rose and a pink rose. We can't quite figure it out because we thought we just bought one rose and now it has, it, it was like two in one. So there's white and pink on this side here. I'll show you some footage of the lilac that I took early, earlier this year when it was all in bloom and it was uh, profuse with blooms and scent. I'd sit there in the morning and it would just be so fragrant. Over here, uh, this area is a memorial to my mom and dad. The lily there was given recently by my sister to put there, Claudia. And the reason they are buried on our property is because they, well, the remains were in urns and nobody really, uh, we just wanted a final resting place. And so they are here. Um, this area is growing up a little bit with more, more flowers, lamb's ear, and there's uh, also St. Francis uh, caring for the animals <laughs> that come around here. We do have bunnies, and uh, there's another, like a, I don't know what that is, but it's an old thing. Uh, so we have bunnies. Um, we used to have raccoons until we ha have, until we got our dogs. The raccoons don't come around anymore, and possums used to come around. The um, let's see, squirrels. Yeah, squirrels and birds. Squirrels and, and the rabbits are quick enough usually escape from the dogs it bothers me when they try and get the rabbits and squirrels they they're very fast <laughs> they have no problem the hydrangea there it was huge last year so we my son helped me cut it back there's some gladiolus that'll be uh, blooming at some point this is the view of from up on high here. <laughs> the um, not the but we have 
a half an acre. So some of it's, of course, in the front yard. Some of it is covered with the house, and then this part of the back is very large. This area over here, we're trying to put wildflowers in there, and uh, mostly weeds are coming up, but we'll get there. That was my son's idea, and uh, his Mother's Day gift last year. One of them was to create that. It was all nice. We put seeds in there, and anyway, we'll get there. And this is the terrible fence dilemma. Uh, it's breaking down and we're in the process of putting a new one in and the dogs are fighting with the next door dog and once in a while they crawl under. Not good. <laughs> I try and put things for the birds like bird houses and such. Uh, feeding, um, I feed them when I can <laughs> and water. This is an old, baby crib. Can you imagine a baby being in that iron crib? But it had the, well, actually there's the uh, front part of it right there with the. So here's the side of our greenhouse. This is an antique arbor that I found this locally. It was not, I don't know, I think it cost me $10. I was very thrilled to get it. Yeah, it was 10 So it's got a patina of rust and Victorian look to it. We just need the roses that we planted to, to grow up it. And we also planted a trumpet vine here, which will take a little while, I guess, to get big enough. But that will be fun. And this old trough I also found at a yard sale locally. Filled it with flowers. Love the rust on it. And we've got the wagon full of flowers there and other ones, foxglove and rosemary. My daughter and uh, husband each gave me hanging basket this year for my Mother's Day. It's the column line that needs to be cut cut now. Oh, and the, the weed. What are you doing in there? <laughs> and, uh, And geraniums and the box there. I'll have to do a different video to show you inside the greenhouse sometime because right now it's not presentable. Really. <laughs> not as presentable as I would like. So the lavender was all put in. Well, like I said, everything was put in uh, six, seven years ago. So Underneath, um, we have a septic tank, and it is underneath that one barrel there of lavender. And so that's marking it. We used to, everybody had to kind of find it if there was a problem and find where it's, you know, it, the opening was or whatever to deal with it. <laughs> anyway, this is how we took care of that and made it more beautiful here instead of just lawn. And that is boat. So these roses were getting quite large and it's a climbing rose but I hadn't put any arbor there or anything so I had this swing and I just moved it over there so that the roses could climb over it. 
the this area was built as well, this little deck area, when we put the pond in. I found the I can't decide whether I wanna paint this or not. Um probably will paint it. It's a little it's shabby but not real chic, so <laughs> And there's the other planter right there that I got. Very pretty color, the one I like, <laughs> as you can tell. But I have to still plant some flowers in there. A garden is never done. And so, as we know, those who garden, it's never done. Um, so, this area, well, first of all, you're kind of wondering, well, how are people going to sit in that, those chairs? That's not real comfortable. Eh, it's just for looks right now. <laughs> Found that at the yard sale too. I already had the glass tops, so put that on the table. Just love the patina and color of it and um, all these things, like the scale my daughter found for me. Uh, and oh, someday I might fix that up so people can sit on it, but mm, maybe not. <laughs> oh, right, let's see, I, before I forget, there's another planter with some things in it. <laughs> All right. So this music stand is holding up some roses. It's iron, made out of iron. Um, our roses are not magnificent. It's like, I know you've seen better, <laughs> but we love them. And currently it's trying to go up over the roof, which is real fun. Uh, you will see fever few planted in various places. One of my favorites. It took a while to get it going, but hopefully it'll come back next year. Sometimes it comes back and sometimes it doesn't. So another box that planter box that my husband built. We have had birds make nest in this. Uh, birdhouse, not this year, but it was very um, nice. I mean, probably not for them because we'd be walking through here, but there's some hollyhock and lemon balm, oregano, different things, mint things in there. This is, uh, I might as well show you the, the reality of gardening. We do have a um, pick up for the uh, yard waste, but it got ahead of us, and especially with tree branches coming down, and we had a whole, well, I mean, a half a tree fall down, so that's why all those uh, branches are over there, but my husband, my, uh, not my husband, my son cleaned all this up here, and look, it actually looked worse than it does now. <laughs> he made it nice and neat and organized, <laughs> but we are using this for compost as well, so that will be good, and we're going to Take care of that but you know everybody has an area that they need i call it the garage of the yard <laughs> okay there's this side of the arbor and then i've had that barrel for let's see probably close to 50 years, and it was old when we got it. We have some some little strawberries growing there. Okay, so I probably showed you the basics of it, and then I'll, and I've talked too much. <laughs> I will show you in between some various, or at the end, I mean, some Uh, either photos or footage of some things were were blooming this uh, 
spring. That. The, uh, you know, obviously can't show you now, but it was very pretty then. I'm trying to get that little butterfly in focus, but I don't know if you can see these little butterflies are so pretty. off if I come near it. And you can see there he is. Um, as you can see I have some other angel figurines around and some old uh, metal bowls and all that. There's my old sewing machine. <laughs> and I have to move this bird bath out a little bit. It's being taken over by what we call the deer tree because it has little uh, things that look like horns, I guess, of a deer on it. But there's a, a technical name for it, of course. <laughs> okay, that will wrap up this for now. And thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching. And have a great day.